In mid-December, several important Ukraine-related documents were adopted by prominent Western legislative bodies. On December 12th, the U.S. House of Representatives unanimously passed a historic resolution recognizing the Holodomor in Ukraine in 1932-33 as a genocide against the Ukrainian people. A similar resolution to this effect had been passed earlier in October 2018 by the U.S. Senate. Also on December 12th, the House of Representatives unanimously adopted two other bipartisan resolutions. The first condemned Russia's military aggression against Ukraine in the Kerch Strait and called on Russia to immediately release the Ukrainian ships and their crews. The other resolution called against the construction of the Russian Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline and appealed to European governments to abandon this project. On December 12th, members of the European Parliament also issued a call to cancel the construction of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline as a quote-unquote political project that poses a threat to European energy security. The next day, on December 13th, the European Parliament called on the European Union to close access to EU ports for Russian ships coming from the Sea of Azov until such time as Russia re-establishes freedom of navigation through the Kerch Strait. Furthermore, on December 13th, at a meeting with President of Ukraine Petro Poroshenko, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg condemned Russia's aggression in the Kerch Strait and pledged support for the Ukrainian Navy. Я щойно повідомив президенту Порошенку, що ми доставимо обладнання для захищеного зв'язку до української армії до кінця року. Також хочу сказати, що Росія має звільнити всіх моряків та забезпечити безперешкодне судноплавство в Азовському морі. And finally, at the EU summit in Brussels on December 13th, EU leaders extended economic sanctions against Russia for another six months. However, the initiative to impose new sanctions on account of Russia's actions in the Sea of Azov were blocked by Italy. With the exception of this and other similar actions on the part of some European governments showing pro-Moscow sympathies, the Western world has thus far been standing united in support of Ukraine after the Sea of Azov incident. I'm Tanya Stech, and this was Ukraine in the News. Канал 1+1 тепер доступний на Bell International Programming.